how useful has chess been for you otherwise, in your life otherwise? Chess, uh, as with any profession, you, you get some kind of professional deformation. And with chess, I think that the, the most obvious professional deformation chess players get is, is this feeling that if you work hard enough at life, you can actually calculate life. And uh, this is a fallacy and you can't. And uh, I know of at least one point in my life, which was thankfully years ago, and I've tried to stay away from this since, but there was an episode in my life where I thought, okay, so this is the position and uh, these are the candidate moves, you know, according to Kotov, you have to, you know, create a three and, you know, sort of count the branches and everything. and. You know, this is the most likely correct continuation from here, which will lead to this, this, and this, and the position in, let's say, two years' time will look like that. Remarkably, the calculation was incredibly precise, but the evaluation of the resulting position was horrifically wrong. And in a couple of years from that moment, I did end up where I thought I would end up, and I thought I would be fine, and I was incredibly miserable. Unbelievably miserable. And uh, that kind of taught me not to overdo the calculating. But uh, in general, I mean, chess is a, a bit of a, a virus of sort because you, you keep on thinking about it. And, uh, you know, when, when your mind is idle, some position will pop up and you will start thinking about it. And uh, it will not go away until you've come to some sort of a conclusion about it. But, but in general, I'm doing something I, I still love doing. And, uh, Chess has been good to me, I have no doubt about that, but uh, it does make you somewhat perhaps more rational than people should be. We spoke of uh, whether chess was useful to you in, uh, in life. Uh, how useful would chess be to people who don't play it professionally? I mean, chess teaches you uh, a lot of things, uh, generally speaking. I mean, apart from the, from the most obvious, you know, spatial imagination and, you know, the ability to concentrate for reasonably long periods of time and uh, if we're talking about kids I think as with any sport but with chess perhaps in particular the ability to handle disappointment and loss is I think important for, for character forming and you will go through some of that if you if you uh, get involved with chess and I think this makes you a better more rounded person in general. I don't know. I think I think it's an incredibly beautiful game. It can bring you a lot of joy if you study it and if you begin to understand it. You do need to put in um, some work because you know the problem with chess is that uh, you do need to get past a certain level to begin appreciating just how beautiful it can be. Showing uh, some incredible study uh, to a person who barely knows how the pieces move will will be a bit of a fail. But uh, once you, you do get across that barrier, I think, I think it's a remarkably beautiful game. It has this uh, somewhat you know, mystical quality to me. In its best aspects, it's uh, like music or, or literature. It, it, it can create this feeling of uh, wonder and beauty. I mean, obviously not every day, but uh, it can. And, and this is the reason I, I'm, I'm so happy, I'm, I'm still happy I'm playing it, because every now and then it creates something which you think, yeah, that, that was uh, really, really something which was, you know, which will remain. It's more than a game. At least I, I like to think so. Could we say chess gives you magical moments? It definitely does. Definitely does. And, and this is what I'm, what I'm looking for more than anything. I mean, uh, success and recognition and uh, all those things are important clearly I mean who doesn't want those but uh, this feeling which you get every now and then that you're completely in, in, in control of what you're doing over the board and uh, you know the pieces listen to you and do what you say for me this is uh, absolutely fantastic this is the, you know the, uh, what, what, what I'm searching for and what I'm what I'm playing for they couldn't drag me away it was uh, it was a bit strange, I guess, because, uh, you know, as a, as, a, as a father of two, I mean, uh, we weren't as lucky because my kids, they, they do have some interests, but uh, 
uh, none, none is as, as completely domina dominant as, as chess was with me. And I mean, it's much easier to, to be a parent of a, of a child who, from a very early age, knows exactly what he wants from life. And, for me, I came back from school and I would sort of uh, put my, put my uh, you know, textbooks down and just sit on the floor and start reading a chess book. And, uh, you know, lunch would somehow intervene, but, you know, after a number of reminders that, you know, I need to go and eat at some point. But generally speaking, I was just, you know, I was, I was doing stuff that was expected from me and my, my entire free time was occupied by reading about chess, playing chess, thinking about chess and... I remember once reading an interview where Vichy Anand was uh, asked the question whether chess has made him happy. And I was quite impressed by the clarity of his un answer because for me it's always uh, something of a love-hate relationship a little bit, but for Vichy Anand the question and the answer they were both very clear. He said yes immensely. Would your answer be similar? I think so. I mean, uh, yeah, I, I honestly, you know, uh, the reason I'm thinking now is that I'm trying to understand why, why the answer would be anything but yes. And, uh, well, yes, I mean, uh, the game is hard and, you know, the, I haven't perhaps been as successful as some people say I should have been, but, but generally speaking, uh, as I said, chess has been incredibly good to me and uh, I still love it very much even after well, almost 30 years of, of doing it non-stop, so uh, yeah, chess definitely made me happy.